Hello YouTube world, Pretend Farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. In this video, Pretend Farmer is going to give you just a few tips for buying chickens to help you make a good decision and really get what's going to be best for you. We have a really large variety of chickens here on the Pretend Farm. We bring now over two years of experience chicken farming here on the Pretend Farm. And we've got some pretty good input to give you regarding buying chickens. Now the first thing you need to decide is, when you're getting chickens, do you want them for meat or do you want them for eggs? Most people that are getting meat birds, they'll get broilers because they are growing fast. You give them a high protein diet, they grow up really bulky, ready to butcher in no time at all. Now assuming you want chickens for eggs or maybe just to have around, you can go with commercial breeds or you can go with a heritage breed. Now white leghorns are a commercial breed of chicken. And typically when you go to Walmart or your local grocery store and get eggs, they come from leghorns. Another commercial breed of chicken that you'll probably see a lot of are your sex links. You typically have black and red sex links, sometimes called black stars or red stars. If you see these, they're commercial breeds of chickens. They were bred to basically lay really heavy over a short period of time. And they don't live near as long as heritage breeds but they give you a lot more eggs in a shorter time span. Heritage breeds, like the colorful ones you see here, they were bred to lay longer and live longer. You get about the same amount of eggs just over a longer span of time. This chicken here is Willow. She's an Americana and she lays a bluish green colored egg. Americanas are heritage breed chickens. They've got low profile pea combs. They handle cold weather really well and they lay the pretty colored eggs. We've also got some olive eggers. Olive eggers also lay colored eggs, only their eggs are more of a dark green olive colored. Now you can get different variations of Easter egg or chickens that lay different tints and colors of eggs, but for the most part, most of your chickens are gonna lay a lightish brown to tan colored egg, just like this blue Orpington here. Now one of the most popular backyard chicken breeds ever is probably the Buff Orpington. They're the yellow golden looking chickens that are a heritage breed and they're known for being very docile and friendly, great for beginners, great for backyard flocks. We've got some of those here, but we've also got their cousin, the Chocolate Orpington. These are not as common. We had to special order them from McMurray Hatchery, but this is essentially the Buff Orpington in a chocolate color plumage, a very beautiful chicken to have roaming around the yard. Now, if you get baby chicks in the spring this time of year, you can pretty much plan on it being the end of summer till they start to lay. It takes a while for them to mature and really drop that first egg. And about the time they start to lay in the fall, the days will be getting shorter and they'll throttle back. But boy, will they lay heavy that next season. Let me show you some of the different colors we've got here on the pretend farm. Now here's kind of a mint green egg. This is probably one from my Americana. Uh, the olive eggers, they lay like a darker olive green egg, so I don't think this one's from them. The really dark eggs like this, uh, these come from my sex links chickens, but you can actually get copper marin chickens, which lay an even darker brown egg than this. It almost looks like coffee, it's so dark. We have hens that lay almost a whitish color egg. Our buff Orpingtons and most of our hens lay these kind of tan colored eggs. So now for the million dollar question. Do I need a rooster with my hens so that they'll lay eggs? The answer is no, you don't. Hens will lay eggs even without a rooster. The only difference is a rooster fertilizes the eggs so that you can hatch chicks if you want to. Now Bucky here is our Salmon Favreau rooster and we've had him for a long time here on the pretend farm. Honestly, I would highly recommend getting a rooster if you can have one. The rooster just kind of seems to add a natural balance to the flock that's not there when you don't have one. And he's really just kind of the signature staple of the flock. Now many of you are probably wondering where Colonel Sanders and Midnight are. Well those of you that watch us regularly remember that Bucky had been kicked off his throne and they were beating the crap out of him. So we decided to prioritize and since Bucky was living with the turkeys and he didn't seem too content down there, we decided to part ways with Colonel Sanders and Midnight. We're just going to probably stick with Bucky here for the time being. Now just to let you know, if your chickens end up looking like this, you actually made a mistake and you bought turkeys. 
that's kind of the magic spot right there. This turkey's actually getting ready to go to sleep. We actually just built them this little ladder roost so that they can start to perch at night while they're sleeping because they're kind of getting to the stage where they're going to want to do that soon. So it's time for a quick review. If you look over there getting a drink of water right now, that little red chicken to the left of the waterer, that is one of our red stars or red sex links. It's one of our only commercial chickens we've got here on the pretend farm. Very good layer. Here right up at the camera now we've got a chocolate Orpington, one of my favorite breeds. The yellow chicken on the far left there with the gray tail is actually a mixed breed. That's from our hatch last spring. And I believe it's a buff Orpington mixed with a blue Orpington. There you see a real buff Orpington step into view. That's a purebred right there. The dark black chickens you see dancing around are olive eggers. And you can see we've got two blue Orpingtons. They're the gray chalky looking chickens that you see kind of trailing towards the fence there. That's a Rhode Island Red over there getting a drink of water right now. If you just want really big chickens, look into Jersey Giants. We've got one or two here on the pretend farm, but they're not really mature enough yet to stand out above the rest of the flock. We'll highlight those in a later video. Till next time, this is the pretend farmer wishing you happy chicken shopping out there. Get you some chicks this spring, raise them up this summer, and enjoy some eggs going into fall. Feel free to drop any questions you have or video requests down in the comments box. And until next time, happy farming out there.